Hi. In this video, I want to customize my online shop's cart, checkout, and order confirmation pages. I'll start by opening one of the products on my shop page and adding it to the cart. I want to check the cart's appearance with several products, so I'll add a related product and proceed to the cart. That's the default WooCommerce cart template appearance. I want to replace it with a custom one, and I'll start by editing the page with the Live Builder. The default template is a short code, which doesn't allow editing its content. I'll remove it and use the relevant theme elements instead. First, I'll add a post title. Next, I'll add a row element and divide it into two columns. One for the table with the product list, and the other, for the coupon form and the contact data block. I'll add the cart page, product table element. In its settings, I can specify its layout features. For example, the style of the counters, the button position, and the separators. Next, I'll specify the background color in its design settings tab. I'll add some spacing around the table via the paddings. Also, I'll specify the border radius to round the corners. Next, I'll add a coupon form element to the right column. I'll specify a less catchy style for the button in its settings. I'll add some spacing below via the separator element. Next, I'll add a cart page totals element. I don't need the title and subtotal in this element, so I'll remove both via its settings. And I will also specify the border radius in its design settings. I'll save the changes and refresh the cart page to check my custom template. I like the way it looks now. Next, I'll proceed to the checkout page. Here's the default WooCommerce template for the checkout page. I'll start by editing it with Live Builder to create a custom one. Similar to the cart page, I will first remove the default element. Next, I'll add a post title. After this, I'll add an inner row element and divide it into two equal columns. One for the order details and payment methods and the other for the billing details. I'll add a checkout page order total element. I'll hide the subtotal line via the relevant settings. Next, I'll add some space below. After this, I'll add a checkout page payment element. I'll choose a suitable style in its settings. Next, I'll open the column's design settings to specify the background color. I will also specify a border radius to round the corners. Next, I'll add a checkout billing details element to the right column. I want it to look compact, so I'll specify a two-column layout. Next, I'll add a shop notices box element to display the notifications above. I want the content of the left column to scroll with the page scroll, so I'll turn on the relevant setting inside the column. I'll save the changes and refresh the checkout page to check the result. This design and layout suit my site better. I'll proceed to the order confirmation page by specifying the details and payment method. WooCommerce developers do not provide a separate page for the order confirmation. But Impreza allows editing its appearance. I'll go to Templates, Page Templates, and create a new template for the order confirmation. I'll edit it with Live Builder. First, I'll add a row element and an icon box element. I'll specify a suitable icon in the settings. Next, I'll use a thank you as a title and choose a heading style. And I'll type in the order confirmation message inside the description. I'll specify the size and alignment in the appearance settings tab. I want to limit the maximum content width for this row. So I'll pick the custom width and specify the needed value. Next, I'll add a separator element with a small size and a separation line in the middle. 
Next, I'll add an order details element. The order number option in its settings displays the brief information about the order. I'll remove the styling so that it will show as regular text. I'll add a separator below by duplicating the previous one. Next, I'll add one more order details element. This time, I'll set it up to show full order details. The template is ready, so I'll save the changes. Next, I'll go to Theme Options, Shop, Orders, and specify my custom template. I'll save the settings and refresh the order confirmation page to check how it looks now. I can see my custom template correctly applied to it. Thanks for watching. In this video, I created custom templates for cart, checkout, and order confirmation pages. In the following video, I'll show how to add and customize custom fields.